stampers. My name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Now, I'm using a couple of different things this time. It's a very fast card and very easy. Um, and I am using a package of these pre-prepared uh, card bases and envelopes that have this lovely silver trim on them. And because the card base is already cut and scored for you, this card is super simple. And um, I've done a little bit of die cutting and a little bit of embossing and a bit of stamping, but it is so fast. And um, I'm using this wonderful stamp set called, let's see, what is it called exactly? Beautiful Baubles. And we had a challenge in one of my groups that I belong to that we needed to case a card that was in the catalog. And there's a card in the catalog on the page that this is on that shows using this particular ornament. And so this was kind of my version and then I thought I would try using these um, pre-prepared sets. Now this is um, Silver Foiled Edge Cards and Envelope, and it's in the Holiday Catalog. And this uh, package contains 20 card bases and envelopes for $9.50. It's a very good deal. And so for $9.50, you can make 20 cards and it's already scored and done for you and you've got an exceptional envelope to go with it. So uh, I'm going to change up my colors today and I'm going to do this card in um, Cherry Cobbler. And then at the end, I will show you all of the ones that I've made. I went nuts with, <laughs> with all of the colors. So this is the base you'll need and it's already pre-cut and all we need to do is fold this and give it a little burnish and we are ready to go. And it's a single layer card, so very simple. And it's got a couple of pieces on here and I will show you what I've done. This set also comes with dies and these dies are gorgeous. There is um, the die that I used here to make my, um, my piece on the top of my card here. Move this out so you can see it a little bit. And I did mine in Dazzling Diamonds and then I used my blends to color match that against uh, some cardstock that I embossed this on. So I'm going to use uh, Cherry Cobbler. So we need a, a piece of Cherry Cobbler just big enough to accommodate this stamp for embossing. And this piece is three inches square. Then you need a little piece of Dazzling Diamonds and this, I think, is two and a half by two and a half by two and three quarters. And I found that I could get quite a few of these down the page. I think you can get 25 of these out of one sheet of Dazzling Diamonds. And what I did was I mixed up my colors. And I'll show you when we finish putting this card together what that looks like. And I'm doing these for swaps and for other kinds of things and I'm really pleased with the way they came out. So let's just get started. So this is where we're going to do most of our work here on these two pieces. And uh, let's see, I'm going to bring in some scratch paper here. Let's see. And I'm going to use some Versamark on my piece of Cherry Cobbler here and uh, got that ready to go 
and um, I've got my two stamps mounted. This one I didn't clean up from the last one I did, so I'll do that. And so on this one, because it's photopolymer, I'm going to bring in my pierce mat. And I will tell you, this is such a big die that you really have to press hard um, to get a really good image on this. So don't scrimp on the Versamark here. And I just tuck this into the corner here. And I gave this a very good press. I found on a couple of them right here in the middle, if I really didn't press well in those spots, it didn't pick up the Versamark. So there we go. I think that's probably good. This would be a good one to do on your Stamparatus because if you didn't quite get the full image, you could go back and do it again. Um, but I have my Stamparatus set up for something else, another project that I'm working on. So here we go. Perfect. So I can see, and you can see too, by looking at the watermark on this, that I have a good Versamark image all over that, um, that piece. Now, I'm going to bring in my silver embossing powder here. And I'm going to get this image covered with embossing powder. There we go. And we are going to use the heat tool to get okay, that set. So that was a little more excitement than I was planning on. I, my camera fell flat down on my work surface. <laughs> I don't know, lately I've had so many silly little issues with this camera. Anyway, um, where I was, uh, was I have put my silver powder on my uh, image here. And I'm going to quiet the video while I heat set this piece, and I'll be back in a flash. There we go. I've got it all done. And you know, after all of this time, I just don't ever get tired of using the embossing powder. It's just amazing to me. All right, now I'm going to speed this up again while I fussy cut out my ornament. And again, I'll be back in a flash. Okay, so there we have our ornament all cut out. Now, the last thing I need to do is color die cut here, cut out of the Dazzling Diamonds. And I'm using my alcohol marker and this is the Dark Cherry Cobbler. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, these things have just turned out so beautifully. And um, I will say, I'm, I'm using the side of my marker and I'm going somewhat gently because I don't want to ruin my tip here. And um, getting this completely covered is the idea and the darker your color is I found uh, the more likely you're going to have to go over it a bit more um, just because sometimes the white shows around the edge and I found um, that on these what I if I just kind of went around the edge um, on some of these little spots in here where the white seemed to show a little bit that seemed to do it and if I take a look at this yep I think that's completely covered now oh, a little spot maybe right there okay so now guess what we're all ready to put this card together it's such a simple card the other stamp I'm using is Merry Christmas and Happy New Year that is also from this stamp set. So I'm using this ornament here and the Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And that's all the stamping there is to this. All right. Um, so let me just, I'm going to 
clean up my ornament stamp here and make sure that my sentiment stamp is also cleaned up and I'm going to move this out of the way. I will say this, if once you do your coloring on your Dazzling Diamonds, move your scratch paper away uh, because you don't want anything to transfer to your card. Somebody said the other day, how is it that I kept, or maybe it was even this morning, how is it that I keep my fingers and my hands so, so ink free? <laughs> and I'm thinking, I don't know what video she was watching, but it seems to me that my fingers are always so inky. In fact, someone, I was talking to someone on my team who'd watched one of my videos, and she thought I had actually cut myself because <laughs> I had so much ink on my fingers. And uh, this is one where you're working with very um, heavy-duty ink colors. And so I think washing and, and using baby wipes and whatever to get your hands clean is a pretty important step frequently in this process. So, especially the reds and the navies, they do seem to get on my hands a little bit more than some of the others. So here's my cherry cobbler. And I'm gonna open my cherry cobbler here and I'm going to ink up my Merry Christmas stamp here and use some grid paper lines here at the bottom to help me set that up. And get that stamped right here on the front. And then on the inside of the card, my decoration was to take this stamp here and put an impression of this bobble right down here on the bottom, kind of partially off the card. So again, that same admonition, just make sure that you're pressing down really firmly with this to get a good impression all the way along on this stamp. So, and there we go. That'll lighten up as it dries. And that's all we need the ink for. There we go, we're ready to put this one together. Now, what I found was that if you use a silicone mat and you use a dot runner snail, you can just go over this whole thing and the glue will stick only to kind of where you want it. Now the other thing you could do is use some of that, what is it, the Sizzix um, double-sided tape and put that on here before you die cut it and then you would just peel the back off and you could put it in place that way as well. So I'm just gonna set this down right up here in this corner and then on this piece, I'm going to put this up on dimensionals and I'm just using four dimensionals on this kind of around the card so that it's good and supported when it's put into place. And um, okay, there we go. And I found that once I put this kind of up in the corner, that when I put this one in place, I wanted to see this little uh, piece of the upper part of the card. And that allowed me to put it so that it pretty much fills the card, doesn't interfere with my stamping down here. And there you go, easy as that. Now, the other decorations that I did is I put a small rhinestone right here near the Christmas a medium-sized one someplace in here, and then one of these larger ones more up at the top. And they're all a little bit different. Oh dear, I got a little smudge on that one. I'll tell you, you really have to clean up a lot in order to keep this pristine. So that is the card for the day. A simple little project and very fast. Um, 
And so what I want to do is share with you some of the other colors that I tried with this. This one is done in lovely lipstick. Isn't that a pretty one? And then I did one in Night of Navy. And what what I the colors that I used were dictated by what blends I had. So I tried to stick to blends that I had so that I could make the matching um, die cut piece. This next one was the original one that I did. I did it in Pool Party. And I did one in Old Olive. You can tell I'm using these for, for swaps because I'm making a bunch of them. And this one, isn't that gorgeous? That was in um, Blackberry Bliss. Isn't that pretty? And so none of them really, well, maybe the navy and the, and the red, traditional kinds of colors for Christmas, but I'm really tickled with the way that they all came out. And it is a simple project, especially when you're using items like this um, pre-cut out cards and then these great envelopes and so I don't even feel like I need to add any more decoration to the envelope. Lots of times I stamp a little something on there and I suppose you could put a bobble around the front but honestly with the uh, silver on there I don't think it needs much. So that is the project for today. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do so appreciate it. And um, as I've been doing, there will be a prize draw here at the end of this video. Um, and I'm doing a prize draw every time I do a video for 30 days once I hit my 10,000 subscribers. And you've all been so kind with your words uh, about making my 10,000. I do, I do so appreciate it. And um, it's hard to know how to get these all in the screenshot here. <laughs> so this is the project and the prize draw for this video is a package of these, um, these card bases and envelopes. So one of these sets is the prize draw for this video. And uh, I wanted to tell you that the last two people, the wreath card, the person that won the prize was Judy Estrada. And I've emailed her and I haven't heard back, so I'll try and email her again. And if I never do hear from somebody in a reasonable amount of time, I will redraw because I want those prizes to go out to people. And then the... Um, the roses with the inlay card uh, is Vicki George, and I just emailed Vicki uh, for that prize draw. I haven't pulled a, a winner for the paper pumpkin one, and then I will have, like I said, this is the prize for this video. So thank you so much again, and everything here can be ordered on my website, www lbedinger.stampinup.net and this month's uh, regular um, prize draw is a $50 shopping spree on me. So all it takes is putting an order on my website and I'll draw at the end of the month and whoever wins that uh, will get to pick anything they'd like in the catalog. Many things or one thing or whatever they'd like for the $50. And uh, I'd love, if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. And or you could join my team. Um, there's information below the video always on how to get a hold of me. And I would be happy to talk to you about it. Don't hesitate. Um, call me if you have questions. Call me if you just want to chat Stampin'. <laughs> uh, any of those things. And uh, I'll be back soon with more cards and more projects. Bye.